Now, the other big story this week is TikTok. Now, this has been rumbling, rumbling, ban, 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 ban. TikTok has finally actually been banned. Where? In the state of Montana in the US. They have been Mm -hmm. the first to jump uh, on this. Montana, of course, famous for being a massive tech hub and uh, a place of, (laughs) you know, social media innovation. But, hey, (laughs) somebody's got to do it. (laughs) <laughs> Somebody's going to do it. And if Montana is the first place to do it, then fair enough. So Brad. from the 1st of January, 2024, you are not allowed on TikTok in Montana. Um, uh, I mean, you know the paperwork on this. What, what's mm. the fine? Uh, the fine is uh, $10,000 per day. If anyone in the state of Montana is able to access TikTok, if anyone is offered access to TikTok or is offered to download the TikTok app, do you know what? If you were to replace the word TikTok with cocaine in that sentence, you know, it would be, you know, a, a, a lot more punitive. <laughs> OK, if you were to replace the word TikTok with Facebook. Same deal, if you ask me, because, you know, everything that's going on with TikTok at the moment, we've been saying about Facebook for forever. You know, the amount of data that they hold on us and the fact that it gets leaked and all that kind of stuff. The only difference is is that it goes to Mark Zuckerberg and and not some government. uh, Well, here's the thing with TikTok, though. I mean, even if they can't prove that they're sending stuff to the Chinese government as, you know, policy. Mm. Um, the very fact that it's a, a Chinese company means that there are people who might be agents of the Chinese government working there, um, which is actually something that happened to Apple uh, in the last week. There, there's um, a, a former engineer uh, who escaped, escaped. He quit, he quit <laughs> Apple after uh, <laughs> after purloining an awful lot of data to do with its um uh, driverless car initiative yep. and has and skipped to China. Um, so it does happen. So does TikTok have Chinese agents working within it? Um, it's too big a gamble to take, certainly in Montana. So Listen, they're saying, but, right, yeah. if you're doing this, it's going to cost you $10,000 a day to uh, to muck around with it, which means that I, I'm just having pictures of guys in trench coats on on street corners going, hey, do you want to do you want a TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> cool. The one, the one thing we do know about TikTok, whoever is getting the information, is that the TikTok app sucks a lot of information out of your phone. Information mm. that yeah, it does. It's need one of the it's one of the operate. biggest hogs. Oh yeah, absolutely. It will literally any no. data it can grab on your phone, it will take it out and it will just keep it on its database. What happens after that? <sighs> I don't know. However. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking speaking of I mentioned uh, Facebook and Meta they're about to face their biggest fine ever in the EU. Have you any idea how much? Oh, do you know every time I hear Meta and a fine, I just feel like we're getting just a little bit closer to not seeing the letters USC on our pay on our pay slips, you know? It just seems like a tremendous revenue generator. <laughs> Everyone is like, "Hey, the country is awash with this cash. Where did it come from?" That's f- I think we know where it came from. <laughs> it's meta GDPR fines, all well, of it. Uh, 